hi. We didn't see you there. <laughs> we were just investigating this song boy. Well, Welcome well. to a very special, very furry <laughs> <laughs> edition of the Little Big Planet stream. I am Lady Sarah. This is Sir Dino. Pleasure. This is Sir Mario, I mean Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> we are Knights of Sackboy and we are here to celebrate Little Big Planet and the Order 1886. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. How are you, Mario, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm great, thanks. Um, How's the moustache treating you? Nice. I, I'm quite liking the moustache. So, do you know of Hulk? Yes, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, my lady. <laughs> what is going on in the stream? <laughs> Ready to make some power ups. Ooh. But first, but first so but Dino, what are they going to see way. on the screen for the first time in the world? Uh oh. Let's go up. Maybe we can zoom in. Oh, oh, oh no. it's going away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Extreme man. close up. This is the Sir Galahad or Grey, Grayson Galahad. Yes. Of the Order on new DLC, which will be out this week. There. You can Ooh. see the lovely, this is lovely, lovely modeling Galahad. Yeah. He has his nice little Knights of the Order attire, and he, he has, does. I believe that is the art gun in the back. Yes. That is. That is what we are going to do today. We're going to make some very, very interesting power ups. So let's just show you how, to, how we use them. So we have jumped into a very little big version of Nikola Tesla's laboratory, as yep. where he would make all the power ups, or <laughs> excuse me, the weapons in the order. Yeah. So we will use them as power ups in our little big planet version. So we see a lot of, you know, long range weapons in the order and everything like that, our gun, the thermite gun, so on and so forth. But That's what true. happens when you get really up close? <laughs> what do you do? So, <laughs> That's what I do. I think one of the cool things with the blaster handle that we added to Little Big Planet 3, it allows people to make their own power ups pretty much out of anything. So, uh, w as we've shown before, we've made banana nunchucks. Oh, we've the, famous. <laughs> the famous banana nunchucks. Chicken forkinator. The chicken and forkinator, mm -hmm. um, balloonator, so on and so forth. What a lot of people wanted to do in the older Little Big Planets, they always wanted to make swords and stuff like that. So, we're going to go ahead and start off with our own very basic cardboard sword. Now, granted, Mr. Tesla would not necessarily Is make... Is he Mr. Tesla? Is he Sir Tesla? Sir Tesla. Mr. Tesla, Sir Tesla. feels yeah. like an understatement. <laughs> so, he probably would have started off with a, you know, just cardboard a basic sword. cardboard yeah. sword. <laughs> and then he would have gone from there no, to make it a little more amazing. <laughs> but we're going to start off with a cardboard sword to show you that we can make a power up out of anything. And what we basically do is that we go into our tools bag and we look for the tool called the, nope, not the music, but the, the blaster handle. Blaster handle. So we basically we put our blaster handle where we want our Galahad sag boy to hold the weapon. So with any sword we would put it on the handle. Ta-da, like so. So we'll go ahead. Oh, I'm loving, I'm loving the, um, is it there so far? The, um, <laughs> Daytime television sales work are doing that, Steve, and pointing things out. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. This is a QVC. <laughs> <laughs> this is the blaster handle. So would you I've even got a pointy umbrella. <laughs> Outstanding. Sorry. I'll go hang out with a wolf then. Ten left. Make sure you get them. So, when we open up our blaster handle, a microchip shows up. That means we can put any other type of logic that we wanted to. Now, this is a little Mythbusters thing about Little Big Planet 3, especially when the uh, blaster handle came out. This input right here, it actually doesn't really do anything. It's just an input that that was placed in the game. Myth. Okay. Yeah. Busted. <laughs> so if you think it does anything else, it's just an input. Ta-da. Like so. Anyway, so now that we got that out of the way, the most important, one of the most important things about the blaster handle, especially the microchip, is that the output is the thing that your R1 button presses. So like, for example, in the game where you have the pumpinator, you know how you always press R1 to, yeah, to yep. shoot and stuff like that? This is basically what controls that, this little output here. So every time you press R1 on your controller, this trigger will activate whatever it's connected to. So for we want to make a pretty neat sword. Okay. So we'll okay. make it a flaming cardboard sword. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat I so far. Mind you, it's very simple, but we're going to get to the really cool stuff. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our little danger tweaker that is placed on this bit of the cardboard because we don't necessarily want our hand to go on fire. No. Oh no, no that'd be no, a That wouldn't be good at all. Kids at home, <laughs> yeah. Galahad says no to no. fiery handles on swords. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Would you want to do that? <laughs> no. Probably not. So we take our output and we place it into 
the danger speak right here. If we didn't, this would more than likely just go on fire without us being able to control anything. No. But we want to be able to control that. So we connect our, our output from the blaster handle microchip to the danger speaker. So there, basically we have our power up that can work whenever we just want to yep. go for it. So let's go ahead and just test it out for a little bit. See if, if we get everything working. We can go to our global stuff and then we will switch over to our sack pocket items and we can capture our, our new power up like so. Bam. And ta-da, it has shown up over yeah. here in our new power-ups. And if we want to go ahead and test it, we simply just press X. Ta-da! Ta-da! My that's, Galahad, what a mighty sword, sword you have. So let's go ahead and go into play mode. Whenever I press R1, it goes on fire. A very simple test to see. What sound does it make when it goes on fire? Cool, good to know. Nice. Like so. And no, then, no, the good like it! No! <laughs> no! No! Ta-da! <laughs> but, you know, we yes. might necessarily like the way our um, sword is positioned on our hand. So we can go ahead. Hey, look who's back. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah he's, he's back. back. He's he doesn't alive. even know what happened to him. He's completely oblivious. We can go ahead and switch the position of that there. Thank you for getting in my way. Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. 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 We can switch the position of the blaster handle like so, so that it becomes more advantageous when we use it. So we can go ahead. Once we've made our changes, we can press square on our power up in our sack pocket items. And this will allow us to recapture any changes that we've made to it so we don't have to continuously make uh, a new okay. one, delete it, so on and so forth. So once we do that, boom. Can All right, so everything version? should be good to go. So yep. Let me go ahead and equip it again. Now see, it is a nice, I guess, a more advantageous position and get the whole Yeah, you got a full. Yes. Exactly. So. No. no. No, oh, piece of oh, 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 He just oh. mocked you. Oh. He's mocking you I'm with mocking his him. aliveness. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so mean. He had like lichen <laughs> brothers, lichen sisters. He probably just escaped from the, the order. And <laughs> That's why he's in the laboratory. Thought he would say, no, Tassadar, why did you capture the lichen? Why did you do that? So, uh, aside from that particular change that we can do with the blaster handle, we can also uh, look into the other settings as well. If we go ahead and press square, when we have the blaster handle selected like this. When we do so, we get its submenu, and then we can see it has different types of grips. So that means when you have a blaster grip, Sag Boy, or Galahad Boy, okay, is that? Galahad I prefer, he's not really boy, is he? He's, no. too, he's too furry in the face to me. Galaman. Galaman. He does have really a really sorry about it, Dawn. We are just butchering <laughs> your game here. <laughs> so when you have the blaster handle, set to, the, the grip set to blaster, his hand will be out like this, kind of like just a, palm out. When you set it to fist, he will attempt, your, your sack boy or sack girl, will attempt to hold the power up where you have the blaster handle with a closed fist. And, you know, it all depends on how you decide to make it. But those are the differences right there. With the aiming speed, um, whenever you set it to like relatively slow, um, it won't, it'll take a while for you to move the power up with the right stick. So instead of going like one to one, yep. like, uh, so it all depends on what you want to do with it. We also uh, have power up satellite where you can set it to um, whether or not you want to climb or not. Um, there are some, because if you go ahead and set it to climbing, let me show you really quick. That light is looking nervous again. It immediately de equips your power up, but when you let go, you have it back. It comes back. Nice. Yeah, like so. Um, we played a level a while back. I think it was the one with the. Um, the, the really short range gun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the little laser, for sure. Yeah. What he did, he allowed you to actually climb, I think, a, a pole. Yeah, and it's a slide shoot enemies. Yeah. So that's one way of like why you wouldn't want to have the, the climbing option on your weapon. Next thing, also, you can also make sure that it's invisible in play mode or visible, depending on what you want to do. For the sake of things, we'll just have it visible. And Makes then, sense. Yep. And then you can also enable its sounds if you really want to. I think the sound effects you have done are... Pew, pew, pew. Shoo, shoo, like shoo. So. I'm more than not equipped for it. Like so. So, like I said, basic cardboard sword wouldn't necessarily be something that Nikola Tesla would give to Galahad to fight off like. And well, so you did a good job there. He did a pretty good job, to be fair. So let's but go ahead and spice it up a bit. No! no. <laughs> Run away, good lichen. Run away. This will not end well for you. This, this doesn't end well. feels like 
it's more. This is closer it's to more the ordinary, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is closer to a arc or mm -hmm. arc or a. Yes. So we should name this one first of all. Okay. So the first one was called cardboard sword. Cardboard, cardboard sword. sword. That it wasn't very inspired. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we should call this one. It did, well, let me tell you what it does first. But I've added. This is normally a animated decoration. So these. Okay. Yeah, these gears would start. The, they would start turning. Like so, like uh, like a you know like a pulley type, type system. So you can actually control animated decorations if you didn't know already. If you place them onto an animated material, such as a hologram, a one of those conveyors, so on and so forth, we have multiple, multiple materials, multiple, multiple loads <laughs> and loads of materials. So many materials. Yes. So when you normally take hologram out. It's a bit too bright here, but let me drop this really quick. So you can see it is animated. Ooh. Yeah, like so. Control the animation speed, make it slower, make it faster, so on and so forth. And when you apply a decoration on it that is animated as well, it will inherit that um, material's animation speed. So you can make it slower, faster, so on okay. and so forth. Okay. So basically, whenever I press R1 to turn the fire on, I want this thing to rev up like crazy which is going to be pretty cool if we get this right visually. So let's go ahead and place this material that we've connected. And I've also, because every time I want to activate that animated uh, decoration, I also just go ahead and take our output, which is, connect, which is controlled by R1, and simply place it into our hologram. So I have the animation okay. speed at 200% when it's on. Yep. And then if we go down here, zero. zero. So no movement whatsoever. Let's go ahead and line that up right there. That looks pretty good, yeah? Pretty I think good. it looks pretty pretty straight. Yep. Tesla Excellent. himself would be proud. So far, so Tesla good. Tesla He'd be going, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Can't so even do an, an impression of his accent because mm. it's just going to sound yeah, oddly can. offensive. As an American, I couldn't do it. No, no. As Hulk Hogan, you yeah. probably could. As Hulk Hogan, you never <laughs> do it. Brother, I can never copy Nikola Tesla. He is one of the best ever. Ever. I would like to see Hulk Hogan against a lichen. Uh, <laughs> Hulk that, would destroy a lichen. Yeah, Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Done. Like like so. People that know that's Here a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a gun? Yeah. So aside from our weapon <laughs> turning on with fire, <laughs> we want to give it some like pretty beefy sounds as well, since yep. we have the pulley going on. So I went ahead and selected chunky saws Chunk. as a sound. So whenever I turn it on, that sound will loop over and over and over again. So we have so, a flaming, revving, yeah, soaring. So we have a flaming, revving, soaring. Flaming, revving, so maybe we call it the flame of ever soarinator. The flame of soaring, what? The flame of soarinator. And what would you call it? Like if you were a Tesla, if you, I was you Tesla. give it a really cool name. Like everything in the game's got really cool names. The Teslanator. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think electricity. Hello, that's cool. The Teslanator <laughs> stuff. All right, we'll roll with that. We'll That's roll what with I that would now. We're going to call a Tessinator. Okay. So <laughs> I'm naming the next one. You kids, are, okay. you called the first one something really boring. All right. This one is called something really lame. The next one is mine. All right, calm down. We'll no. <laughs> Tom Selleck does not calm down. You just said. Magnum <laughs> PI would not calm down right now. You just said, if you were Tesla, what would you call it? I don't and think I Tesla would call it a Tessinator. <laughs> Hello, Sir Galahad. Would Excellent. you like to see my latest, my latest children? This one is called the Tessinator. Galahad would wet himself. He Probably. would, he would <laughs> chuckle with laughter in all his armour. It would shake the amount he was laughing. Like he would smile probably, which he rarely does in the game. So, a good, good name, good name. <laughs> <laughs> we go ahead and go into our sackpot items and our global stuff once again. We want to yep. get, get, go ahead and capture this new item. So we'll do that, like so, and then a new our test leader shows up right there. Okay. Let's go ahead. We can actually rename it, so we can call it the Tesla. Uh, <laughs> the uh, flaming sword in Fallout was called the Shish Kebab. That's better than the Tesla. That is better. <laughs> See, but not on brand. Boom, Tesla done. Nice. So you can actually rename whatever power up that you've captured anything that you want as well. You could just Something spend a nice day though. thinking up a name. Mm, <laughs> a long time. So once we've done that, once we've renamed our Tesla Nader, let me go ahead and equip it. That's it's looking, looking nice. pretty good oh, so far. Oh, that is patsy. Galahad looks far. happier with that. Yep. Ooh. No, run, run good like and run. Nah, nah. 
<laughs> He's, He's pretty mean by it, to be yeah. fair. Ah, oh, what's this? A... Oh. No. So yes, we have our... Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm invincible. <laughs> run, Tesla, oh, run! No. <laughs> and that's why you so don't make it flaming. That's and that's some... why you don't run mm -hmm. with sharp objects in the house. Flaming, sharp, revving, soaring objects. What is going on? Now this... This is pretty intense, this isn't This is it? what Tesla... Exactly. Show to Edison and be like, exactly. take that! So, <laughs> the Teslanator would, is a very simple weapon. You know, the things in the order are very complex. They look really pretty awesome. So, what I wanted to do with this one, and also to just kind of um, point out something else, you don't necessarily have to have your power up just be controlled by R1. You don't? No, no. you don't! <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. So, uh, one of the things that I've set up here is um, I've set up two modes for our weapon. Obviously, we have the revving up fire sword. Revving flaming. Yes. Revving flaming shenanigans. Soar, oh, I can't Swords. Anymore. And then we Soaring. have... Soaring. Yeah. Soaring, swording. I think <laughs> that would make the arc, the arc gun pretty proud here. There's a lot of electricity of going on. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So, what this does basically, what I, what I intended to do is to have it every time you switch modes... Right this little ball of electricity would turn on and it allows using electromagnetic powers to have Galahad fly. What? Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? This power of little big planet, you could make, you can do anything that you want. Well, practically anything. So I said, why not, right? Let's you know, it, you thought, could I, should I fly? Shouldn't I fly? And mm -hmm. it's always, I should fly. Yeah. And I had the two choices. And there's also a pretty neat side effect as well, because aside from having Galahad fly, it also attracts enemies to you as well. So kind of a risk reward type situation. So anyway, these are up here. This is the same set up here. Well, not necessarily the same, but a little bit more complicated. We have our fire, fire mode here, which I have selected with a selector, which allows me to select different states for our weapon. Yeah. And then we have the logic on the bottom here for our flying mode. So it's all on the same? Yeah, so it's all on the same chip. So we have our chunky saws sound over here. And then for the next one, we also have this thing called the sci-fi dark matter sound, which sounds wom, 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 wom. Sounds like a Skrillex track. <laughs> <laughs> We're always dropping the bass every always time. Always drop the bass every time we switch it. to the second version. All right, so as you can see, I want to be able to switch between these two states freely. Um, in L Little Big Planet 3, when you had the pumpinator, not only you, could you use the R1 button, you could also use the L1 button. And as obviously, when we see our blaster handle by itself, it only allows us to use R1. So in order for us to get around that, we can go ahead and get a controlinator, ta-da, like so. So the controlinator allows us to use any other button that we have on our dual It's your control pad. It's it all is a control out. pad. Nope, like so. So what I want to do is I want to use L1 to switch modes, and then have R1 go ahead and control whatever we want to do. I yeah. Okay. Turn things on fire, or we fly away. Of course. Excuse me. That's okay, Hook. Ooh. <laughs> <I> appreciate it. <laughs> so. I want to make sure that I am controlling the controlinator. So aside from it, after we place it onto the blaster handle, we'll go ahead and make sure we go into remote control, set it to receiver, and controlled by nearest player. And obviously, okay. since that is on our blaster handle, we are the nearest player. So let's go ahead and do that. What material did you say the electric effect was again, someone's asked? Oh, so the electric effect, what I've done... Let me go ahead and detach it really quick. So the electric effect are the decorations. There are decorations. If you go into your decorations, you can find them all the way down here. Ooh. They're not down there. It's cool. We never saw this happen. We can edit this out. <laughs> oh, wait, we're live. No. So I think because we switched to Stevens, uh, you don't have the decorations available. But they are. Okay. They are available. You can go um, there, I think. Which ones are they again? They are there. They're, I forget what... If you look in the decoration section, they are there, though. You have, you have, that is the magic orb, and that is electricity. Uh, you can cool. also find um, other ones, such as like uh, waterfalls, so on and so forth. Some really cool stuff. But yeah, a few people have asked in here. We will be publishing this level live for yes. the LBP yep. curator, Definitely. so you can <clears throat> properly explore these little yep. nooks and crannies. And a lot we, of people are asking about the decor, by the way. 
What is this deck all you've used? Oh. Um, <laughs> this is actually already in the game. Um, if you've, you know, gone through... I forget what section it is, though. Uh, Hulk! Ooh, I can't remember <laughs> everything, brother. <laughs> but yes, this, this is obviously... That's metal there. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think let's go ahead and jump on in. See if we can find it. Da -da -da. There's like a conspiracy here, there. Some people are saying... They don't think they have electricity as a current material. Well, those Ab are materials. doesn't believe you. It's a decoration, not Jamal. We just decoration. said it's a decoration. It is a decoration. Yeah. It is. Oh, there. we do. We can go for it later and find yeah. it. They say, they're saying that deco is not in the pocket. We'll post where you can find it after yep. the stream. Never yeah. you fear. The Hulk never lies. I will do my best. That, was, that, was, that was a weird version. I will always do my best. <laughs> 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 but yes, we do have those. Definitely. But yes, everyone is saying this, there's a whole. Conspiracy theory here in chat, I can see. Okay. We'll tell you where everything is, and yep. then when we publish the level anyway, you'll have access to all these Yeah, videos. most definitely. We'll make sure that they are available to you in one way or another. Yeah, exactly. Sure. The mustaches don't come with it, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so anyway, once we get that down, those are all decorations. Um, where were we going? Yes, I want to use L1 yep. right here to switch modes. So let me go ahead and put it on our selector input right there. And then I also have a sound for whenever I switch modes. So it'll be like something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, we, so we have an idea. I've also done several visual things as well to you know, okay. make sure that we do those things. Also, on our blaster handle, I've added this broadcast microchip. So it allows me to fly as well. So using the broadcast microchip, obviously, you can add different types of logic to Sackboy itself that you wouldn't normally be able to do. And when you do that, all right. Whenever I activate my flight mode, it will yeah. turn this tag on. That says right. fly. Okay. And then when I have that, it will allow me to follow the, the follower that I put on the bla on the what is it on this bad boy right here, the broadcast microchip. It'll allow me to follow that particular tag, which is right there on the sword, which is pretty cool. And then from there, after we saw earlier. I kind of burned myself using the Teslinator. Yeah. Uh, Teslinator. Yep. Because the name is so bad, that's what's caused the pain. That's what's happened. So I've uh, went ahead and added a couple keys or um, sensors as well to recognize when I have this, the, the fire mode on and the, uh, I guess, the flight mode on. So we can go ahead and have these sensors connected to a gameplay tweaker, which allows us to turn off the vulnerabilities that we have. So, you know, you can walk on spikes if you wanted to. You can go ah. through a horrible gas, etc. Yep, so simply just click on that, turn it on and off. Ta-da, like so. I only the Tesla made to have mm -hmm. Like so. So anyway, we can go ahead and do that. And once we have all that set up, we have L1 connected like this. We will go ahead and capture our new weapon. You say capture now, I just think of Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I can always hear my product go, meow, meow, yeah, get meow. <laughs> So, but once again, we'll go ahead and go into our sack pocket items. Yep. Capture our sack pocket item here, like so. Oh, it's exciting to look at. It looks like a powerful, we'll call it It is pretty intense. Good name. All right. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call mm. it. No pressure or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> super awesome, powerful electric sword. I don't know. Well, let's try. <laughs> super... Version one. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We do have more versions. Exactly. Powerful... <laughs> Name tending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's firing. That would have been good. That can be the second version. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> we will name the next sword after somebody in chat. Oh so somebody in chat suggests the next family friendly. There we go. Yes! No. We got it. So that is our sword. Let me go ahead and equip it now. Go on, Galahad. Get ready. Get ready sword. for this. Oh, <laughs> so <All right>. excessive. <laughs> Why? All right. So oh, run. That, so that is not a happy looking like it. That they, one. They saw what happened to his homies. It's so like, dude, like, my brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All oh, right, so no. we have our normal fire mode there. Normal, normal fire normal mode, fire yes, mode. that's Do pretty normal. I press L1. <laughs> All right, now once I do that, you. Ah, <laughs> this is a feature missing from the order, 1886. Look at that. Look at that, that is. Oh. oh no, he thought he'd escape, but no, he's. See, he's getting attracted to the lovely, lovely lights. Like a moth, Switch. like a moth. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Galahad. <laughs> Galahad's good, Galahad's good. <laughs> Done. All right, so now that we've shown you that, the, the power of using more buttons on your power-up, you can go ahead now and- That's a powerful power-up. And fly over to the next part. What's over here? Woohoo! So as you can see, whenever I'm flying, he's just kind of like floating around, not really moving, not showing any emotion when we do that. So another cool thing that you can do is you can add character animations to your power-up. A galimation. Well. Yeah, a galimation. That's a very, it almost sounds like a breed of dog. It does. <laughs> like if, 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 uh, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> if Galahad bred dogs, that's what he would call them. Ta da! Do you think, I think Galahad would call a dog something like Dave and Fred. Galahad seems like if you got him out of that uniform, he'd be pretty chill. You'd have a cup of tea and a bicky, take dogs for a walk, snuggle up with Izzy. Mm. Is a bow? Is a bee? Is a Izzy? Izzy? Just leave it as it is. <laughs> Well, so, Lafayette would have like, Lafayette would have Dalmatians, or little poodles. Maybe. Little Lewoof, Lewoof. Lebar, Lebar, Lebar. Just everybody. <laughs> so Sorry. we want to add a character animation to our to our player every time we use a particular mode. Correct. Yeah. So I think um, obviously when we're flying, we want to give it a weird fun or a fun flying animation. So normally, when you go ahead and take out the character animation and put it on something that's not a character, you won't get the animations at all. No. Okay. But when you put it on something like a broadcast microchip that is being broadcast to a character, you will get the animations, like so. So anyway, we can't necessarily test them out because it's not really connected to a character at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and use our buddy Lycan over here. No, he looks scared. <laughs> For now. No. All right, so let's go ahead and change that. So let's find something that looks really, really cool. Half breed, run. Miscellaneous. That's, I don't <laughs> know if you want that, that when you're flying. I know, I think that's kind of, it's like a, I'm having a great time and I might eat you. He still looks really <laughs> worried though. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Stephen, <laughs> run. Stephen. <laughs> what have you done? I, Stephen, no. <laughs> I will fly with him. So what I was thinking about was maybe using the fire from a cannon. That's a... That looks well, like he's I think his head's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and hold our camera using R3. His head might be too... Nah. All right, let's pick another one. I think... How many people could vote? All right, have them vote. Okay. What do they want? What do you guys want him to do? What do you want the half breed to do? <laughs> Swimming? Falling? Falling. Oh, that's quite good. <laughs> that one's well, that was weird. It's everyone is terrified. Let's just agree on that. People are now talking about naming swords, and I've got distracted. Naming swords. <laughs> Someone just asked if I was wearing a mustache. How offensive! <laughs> I don't always look like this. This took time and hard work. Some people Very were excited. Those people Some people there. were excited about the order launch. I had surgery for the order launch. <laughs> that's excitement. That is pretty exciting. That is. So anyway, we'll go ahead blown and Blown by wind. Blown by wind. Blown by wind. Is that a thing or is someone making a fart joke and I've not realised it? it's there. <laughs> I believe... Where is it at? Blown by wind. Blown by wind. Done. Yeah, that's a good good shout. Who was that one? That was Len0395. Excellent. Good shout. Excellent. So, um, normally when you have, when you put a character animation on your character, or excuse me, while, while there's a, using a power up, Kind of got lost over there. Yep. The, whenever you have a power up on, the arm that's holding the power up will oh, th that particular animation will always override whatever animation is is currently happening yep. at the moment. But at the very least, we can you know add a bit more emotion to our characters when we are using our power ups instead of just having them like 
look like they're standing in the air flying around so on and so forth. Ah, I mean that's you know when I fly, sometimes I look like Are I'm standing in flying. flying. I'm like so every, day every day I fly to work. <sighs> I go past Mariona's castle. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and place that here. So that should overwrite Bloom by Wind right there. Make sure we have it looping so that it's always on every time we activate it. Yep. So this particular uh, sensor right here is sensing whenever we're flying. Okay. So aside from it activating this bad boy and the follower, we'll go ahead and connect it to our... Blend by wind. There it is. Our little character animation tweaker. So that should set it up. Don't don't fear it, Hulk. Accept it. I always accept everything. <laughs> I, do. I never take anything back. Oh my voice. <laughs> it's not happening. So anyway, we go back to our sack pocket items in our global stuff. Go ahead and capture the sack pocket item. Or what we could do, we could go back to our super powerful, awesome electric sword. Press square on Patent it. Pendant. And recap. Well, we've already got to name the next one picked okay, out. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we, we should name the next one. So the next name is coming from Zeda18, who calls it the Supernova Sword, and it's s.u.p.e.r. Mm, really? And it stands for the Super Ultimate Powerful Electric Rapid Nice, obviously very awesome sword. That's very impressive. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to fit on. Okay, super. All right. That's so now you're up to the rapid. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, are they all... N. Wait. N for nice. Oh, N. N for, November, N for nice, yep. O for obviously. Ah. V for very. Ah. A for awesome. Uh -huh. S for sword. So supernovas? No. Oh, sword. Or just put sword. Just put yeah. sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job, Cedar. It took them ages. Much <laughs> nice. That took a while, but we did. <laughs> we got there. We got there. So anyway, go ahead. That's captured as the Supernova Sword. Go the ahead. Stephen Fry Sword. <laughs> Super <laughs> Stephen Galaxy. <laughs> Done. Can you please, before we, before we get into this, can you just say Mamma Mia in an Italian accent? <laughs> in an Italian accent. Yeah, go on. With a with hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know. Go on, it's everyone's birthday present. Everyone's birthday present. Yeah. That, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, what word are you? Oh I mean, God. I would almost exclaim, Mamma Mia! <laughs> hey! It's him! I'm Mario! <laughs> you did it. Oh, well, that's happening. basically my birthday present right. as well. Okay. So we have our supernova sword working in that particular mode. And this is with the um, anim on? Yep. We. So I've been blown away by awesome. My flying looks boring now. I don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, look at you. I, I just kind of hover. God, Tesla. Be cool. Man. I am invincible, Be though, cool. so that's nice. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, that's how we apply <laughs> a character animation to our power So all the power ups that we've showed before can also use the top down levels. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So well, I'm going to use our that. same weapon right there. But all we're going to do is add on our. What is this? Our broadcast microchip that we've placed on our blaster handle. Do -do -do -do. Another controlinator, Ooh. right, which is controlled by nearest player, and you can go ahead and place whatever favorite 3D um, or top-down logic you've ever used. You know, it could be from our good friend by Baghead Incorporated. Yep. It could be, um, you know, something that we showed a while back in our other stream. Whatever you want to do, you can just go ahead and throw it onto the broadcast microchip. Very simple stuff. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and recapture the object, like so. Do we need a crazy name for this um, one? There's a lot of names going around here. Let me just give me a second. I all will right. find. I mean, there's a lot like Stephen Fry saw. It's all right. It's not really, really. Oh, there's the definitely not banana nunchucks, but something like it later. <laughs> <laughs> How's that like banana nunchucks? How about we just well, It's definitely it? not banana nunchucks. <laughs> That's the key the thing. The non-banana nunchucks <laughs> sword. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there's just a lot. It's difficult to keep up. I mean, Little Buster 118 has been desperate for one called the Bustinator. I'm going to give that. You Let's give him that little Buster. You can have the Bustinator. You can have the Bustinator. Ooh, yeah. I, need, I need an accent. What does Tom Selleck even sound like? He sounds American. <laughs> uh, okay, you can have the Bustinator. <laughs> Dear Tom Selleck. <laughs> Please don't sue Sony and Sony Incorporated and me. Uh, all right, so we have the bustinator now. 
Let's make sure we are in the right spot. Go ahead and jump on in. Drop in. Let's go ahead. Now that we've saved it, we'll equip the power up. A lot of very anxious looking half breeds there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Running around. Go back down, please. Steven, drop, drop. drop. Oh, you want me to drop, 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 drop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, Mario! Kinda, what are we doing? Yeah, back no, off. No, run away, Lycans, run! Bring them over to me since they keep running away. Ah! Oh. Like so. Multi takedown. Like so. Thank you, Bustinator, for allowing us to destroy all these. Bustinator! Bustinator did that's it. good. Bustinator did unbusted it. So, yep, that's basically the power ups in a nutshell. From Hulk Hogan. It's a pleasure. I don't know if you don't say that. Apparently, I'm Tom <laughs> Selleck, and I only have an American accent as unique quality, so. Hey, y'all. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, and our favorite and, Italian. And from our well. favorite. <laughs> Italian, come on, Italian. do it. Come on, just do it. Okay, say it's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, uh, Mario. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> And goodbye to Tessa Tita and everybody who came online. Yep. Good night, God bless. See ya. And good luck with the half breeds out there. <laughs>